it's now day 36 of cab isolation lockdown learning. We're spraying some wheat with manganese again. You can see there's some like yellow stripes in the field. It's a little bit of a mystery, but we believe it's something to do with because the weather was so bad last year when this field had potatoes on it. The herbicide used for the potatoes moved through the soil profile into the bottom of the drills and um, it's created a little layer that when the wheat roots have got down to it, it's uh, stunted the growth and discoloured them. Hopefully it'll grow through it, but we think it's something herbicide related because on the edges of the field around the outside, where there could have been a little bit of overlap, it seems to be worse at 24 metres, whereas everything we do is at 36, but the guy that grows the spuds, everything they do is at 24. So it just, um, it's, of, it's also adds up with the patterns from the potato drills rather than the drills from that we've drilled ourselves with the wheat. So I'm just getting near the end of the field now. And if you look on the 24 meter mark, about, about here, it gets, it gets worse. So the agronomist is gonna to come tomorrow with his spade, take some samples and try and work out what's going on, but fingers crossed it'll grow away from it. I've set a time-lapse camera in the oak tree at the end of the field there. So I'll put that video on and we'll see what it looks like spraying the field. So I've got this lovely carpet, fly tipped, uh, buyer to collect from uh, Cartbridge Lane, Halewood. It's a nice grey colour. I'm sure there's no stains on it. Just sorting out the seed here for the CFE for the mix. See, it says it's got a few sunflowers in, but I'm going to add a bit more. And we've got this other one here. It's got cornflowers and everything else in it. So I'm going to mix all that together. Put it in the drill and sew it. Got a little bit of rain on the window. Made up. Everything looks a bit better because it's nice black soil now with little green strips. But from what we've had so far, it's just not enough. It's still still just dust underneath. I don't think you can see that, can you? Just as dry as a bone underneath. So we need a hell of a lot more rain, really, for things to get better. Pheasants there, all different colours. It's really hard to see. The female ones, they just blend in. Especially when they walk behind the male ones. There's a random black one. So we're in the barley field now, on the edge of Halewood Village. We've got some dust still underneath, even though it's raining, but hopefully it'll carry on gently all night. And the drills here. And we're sowing some wildflower mixes and sunflowers. It's uh, part of the CFE mix for, for birds and pollinators. Bees. It's a little bit sticky on top, but it's so dry underneath. But we'll open it and the moisture will roll it all in. So we'll hope we can keep the moisture in. And then uh, it should start going pretty much straight away as soon as you hit the floor, really. So it's on the edge of the village so people can enjoy it. That's the idea. And then we're going to do some other strips around some other fields near to the farmyard. It's raining quite hard now. Um, we're in the, what's going to be the private dog field, putting some wild flowers around the edge of that. We've got our tunnel there for the dogs to play in as well. So hopefully we'll get some grass sown either later or tomorrow, and then it'll be green in a few days with this, this weather carries on. Hopefully you can see, but the sunflowers are in rows now. Now it's rained. So they're coming up quite nicely. They're nearly growing in front of our eyes. So we've got four leaves on them now. Uh, there's still slug pellets around. Fertilizer's nicely washed in. So I think today's left of the day should be R for rain because it's really made a difference with everything this, today. It's still quite dry underneath still, but overnight it should soak in, so it's great. <laughs> 